We still continue with the amateur junior division, but add in this next segment our amateur seniors, so slightly older players. And under the long-term play development pathway, this will fall under training to compete segment. Under 18 and 19 age groups, up until club senior second division, and this includes school provincial under 18 and all school under 19 competitions. The under 18 group would be players aged 16, 17 or 18, these players turning 17, 18 and having already turned 18 respectively during the year in question. The under 19 age group would be players aged 16, 17, 18 or 19, the players turning 17, 18 or 19 and the ones already having turned 19 respectively during the year in question. The under 20 age group are players of course aged 18, 19 or 20, the players turning 19 or 20 and already having turned 20 respectively during the year in question. And of course, our senior players, that's players aged at least 18 turning 19 during the year in question for all positions other than the front row and players aged at least 19 turning 20 during the year in question for all front row positions. Now, a specific reference needs to be made of the SARU under age regulations for under 20 and senior level rugby. The format of the game would see normal rugby laws with scrum law modifications apply and of course a full scrum formation which will have active engagement, pre-scrum binding and there will be a reduced hit allowed on engagement. The referee's calls will be crouch in which the players will align ear to ear, get into spine and line and parallel position. Crouch. Second call would be bind. Players will take the bind firmly on the opposite front row, but do not come together fully just yet. Keep the ear to ear distance, far up, and then prepare. Bind. And his third call, scrum. Players will maintain and secure the bind and effectively engage. The ball will go in and the contest will begin. Scrum. Now this should be seen as an abridged progression from the passive engagement to the full engagement which is currently performed at senior professional levels of play with potentially less risk of collapse and catastrophic injury upon engagement in these amateur levels playing rugby. Front rowers will have to be parallel to the ground, properly pre-bound to each other and aligned in the appropriate channel of the opposing front row before the engagement. The distance between opposing front rows pre-engagement is significantly reduced to where the ears of the opposition front row are straight in line across the mouth of the scrum or ear to ear. There will be a full scrumming contest at the put-in, but only a one and a half meter push will be allowed. Thereafter, for the schools, no more contest. So that's the under 18s and under 19 leagues or matches. Strong. Stop, one and off. There'll be a full scrum contest within the IRB adult rugby laws after the front rows have engaged for club under 19 up until club senior second division rugby. Scrum. Club senior second division rugby is the second highest amateur level of club rugby in South Africa and does not refer to club second teams per se unless they are actively participating in the second highest amateur club division or league in the province. So for example, Western Province Super B League. Law 20.2 front row player positions will be enforced which means that all front row players must have both feet on the ground and their body weight supported firmly on at least one foot. They must also be able to maintain their own balance of course at all times during the scrum. And this will limit the risk of scrum collapse. Now what happens post the engagement? Well, at school rugby, and a 19 variations law 20.1H will be enforced, which means no wheeling, a team must not intentionally wheel a scrum. Pulling back, illegal wheeling. 
and if a wheel does reach 45 degrees, the referee has to stop play. If the wheel is unintentional, the referee orders another scrum at the place where the scrum is stopped. Fine. Scrum. Pass to 45, reset. And no turnover possession, of course, will accrue when the scrum wheels through 45 degrees. In adult club rugby, there'll be no deliberate wheeling of the scrum allowed. No turnover possession will be given when the scrum wheels through the 90. Both the loose head and the tight head props must bind with their elbows not lower than their shoulder line. Management. Should there be a gross mismatch in adequacy or unsuitability of either of the forward packs, then the scrums may be contested in the format of the previous level, which means a passive engagement or foldover with pre-scrum binding, no hit allowed during the engagement, a full scrumming contest at the put-in. Scrum. And a one and a half meter push allowed. Thereafter, no more contest. Stop one and a half. Failing that, uncontested scrums should be called for by the referee.